What's up, everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're going to be doing. First, I want to hear. Yeah, thank you. That sounds hilarious. Um, what I wanted to do was go through the other courses or no courses, other levels in this game as a character that you tend to be playing as. So what I wanted to do was throw out a. Zhang Jiao walkthrough of the Battle of Yellow Turban on his side. I kind of want to do this with every um, major officer that's on the other faction. And then there's actually a couple interesting things that I noticed in this game. And that is that I'm pretty sure the Battle of Heifei, you can play as the Wei side. But you never play as the Wei side when you play through the level normally you only play through on the woo side so i find that really interesting so that's gonna be one of my levels i want to do on this game as well um <clears throat> yeah i'm kind of excited to try that out but for now i'm just gonna do the others faction so i'll do the zheng jiao level battle of yellow turban i'll probably do some hulao gate i'll probably do a uh, guan du stuff like that um i hope you all enjoyed my video last week where i like really went into depth about this game because this game is very good, honestly. Said a lot of things. Um, so check that video out. It was a lot of fun to make it too. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I don't really know if I have much more to say here. Please help me get to a thousand subs. That's like the dream of the end of the year. So uh, let's make that happen if we can. That's hope. Um, been doing this for a while. And it's a lot of fun, but I like people. I like responding to comments and stuff like that. So I just like to be able to do that. That's part of the reason why I want the some number but anyway yeah thanks for two i'm almost done with this game i'm probably just gonna finish up um this these last two levels and then i'll probably end up uh turning in for dynasty warriors 2 and then switching to burnout which is the next series that i want to do going back to my videos that i recorded back in august of last year i uh Asked everybody that were my subs, which is also re the reason why I want subs, so I can kind of get suggestions and stuff for videos. But I asked all my subs at the time, what do y'all want me to do as the next series? I'm almost done with Dynasty Warriors 2. I didn't realize how long it was going to take, but I still would stand by that. And they had people were unanimously deciding Burnout, which I was totally cool with that, because I love Burnout. And I've never actually beaten the whole game all the way through, so I'm really excited to give that a shot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hit it up. That'll be the next video. That'll be the next series I do in this uh, channel after I finish up my Dynasty Warriors 2 stuff, and then we'll kind of go from there. We'll kind of slowly, as we finish uh, fact, uh, games, we'll we'll unlock, we'll play new games, and we'll kind of get it going. Um, getting new little intros there for Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, which I don't see too often. Usually they're on horses, so it's it's uh, kind of nice to get a like that but um yeah so um yeah that's probably what the strategy is for now is i'm gonna start off with um burnout three and then we'll just kind of work from there i have been asking for a lot of games for christmas for my family that are like the games that are next up on my list so i have a bunch in the pipeline but i don't want to overwhelm everybody or myself and uh overdo it and have a million videos so my my strategy at this point is always to just do one video a day the only time i ever change that is if i like am releasing little clips of something and i keep i would do more than one clip like that a day it's like a 30 second clip or something but generally uh i just do one video a day so i have a lot of ideas that are coming but for now i'm just kind of focusing on not burning out on youtube it's very easy for i can i mean i've even had burnout moments in this game so or in this on the YouTube channel so I'm like I totally get it when people talk about that and I think that's something everyone would like obviously no one wants anyone to get burnt out on any of the things that they're doing so um, uh, this game is just it's so hard I, I mean I, I loved talking about how insane the AI is in this game and the uh, archers in particular are absolutely brutal in this game um looks like we've got liu bay for some reason as well in our base so i guess i'll go fight him now because i don't know why he ran in here but gonna go ahead and get rid of him and then we'll, we'll move on but yeah that'll be what i uh that'll be what i plan to do for now is um finish up dinosaurs 2 
you know, switch to burnout and then in terms of other videos that I'm doing, you know, I'll keep doing my Gran Turismo 3 videos because they're by far my most popular. Um, they're also really fun to do. The AI battles to me literally never get old because the AI are so unpredictable in that game. I'm playing through Dynast or Gran Turismo 4 at the time of this video being released. Uh, almost getting getting decently close to Samurai Warriors 1 being done and then I plan on doing Samurai Warriors Extreme Legends after that. Um, also a very good game. And then from there, I don't know yet. Um, I have a bunch of other suggestions that I'm gonna make in that little video, subscriber video thing where I have the like future ideas for the channel. I'm gonna basically release lots of new videos of things that I might wanna do in there. And that's kinda how I'm gonna decide what I should do for my next content is basically, I'm gonna leave it up to the, to the subs, to all of you. Whatever y'all wanna do, I can uh, make those videos. Um, I also really would be interested in playing through Kessen 2 again, which I released a birthday video for that game a couple months ago. Also a very, very good game. So I have a lot of ideas that I want to do, and I'm really excited to try them all out. Um, yeah, it's just fun to have a YouTube channel, honestly. I really enjoy it, so it's just chill. This is going to be a chill video, obviously. I'm just kind of rocking around, playing as Zhang Jiao. interesting thing about this game is you don't really, there's not really like progression for the other characters, but they just for some reason, and they do this in 3 as well, all the other characters have like way more damage and health. They're basically like maxed out characters, even though they're not. So Zhang Jiao has like a huge, like a huge Muso bar, can do a lot of damage, he has a lot of bodyguards, so it's like they basically just were like, yeah, we'll go ahead and make your general really powerful, and you're like, alright, that's fine. So, that kind of stuff is cool. I don't know why they why they did that, but they did. Um, I'm gonna try to find this general over here. It has one officer. I don't know where he is. So I'm gonna try to find his officer, and then get rid of him, and then get rid of that other dude, the main general of this little side. We got rid of Liu Bei now, and then we're gonna run and start helping out all the other people because this level is interesting in that it's basically it's just the other side. So it's really interesting to see how they basically. Uh, you, um, you're basically just, it's just reversed, and it's interesting to have that little bit of story there. I think that stuff that was really interesting. So, getting rid of Liu Yang's gates. Liu Yang attacked me before his general, which is hilarious. And all my millions of bodyguards are here with me too, so now it's just going to be this massive duel here. Gotta try to get rid of this gate first, because I don't like when the units respawn. Uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna move on from this little group down here go towards the, we'll, we'll go from Sun Jian, or we'll go Liu Bei's side, then Sun Jian's side, and then Cao Cao's side, because that's where the uh, final general is. Hei Jin is up there. Um, just lost the gate up at the top, but again, I don't really care. There's not as much of an incentive to like, try to get everything done right with this game, because it's like just the other faction. Um, Generals here. So I got rid of Su Jing there. Where did the other guy go? Oh. Freaked out and ran away from me. That's interesting. But um, yeah, so we'll get rid of Zhou Jing or Liu Yan, and then that'll be it with uh, this little bottom part. But yeah, just to kind of give the updates of the channel, I want to play through 007, I want to play through uh, some extra other Dynasty Warriors games. I pretty much railed hardcore on Dynasty Warriors 9. I may still go back to Dynasty Warriors 9. I, I, I really hate that game just so much. Like, I thought I would like it, and I tried so hard to be nice when it just came out. But that game really sucks. Like, 9 is a disaster. So I'm just going to keep playing through all the older games of Dynasty Warriors series because they are not garbage, and I want people to know that Koei's not... Just because they made a mistake with 9, they're not hopeless. But, yeah, they really... I really screwed up with nine. Nine is just so bad. It's sad that it is really. Like I don't know what happened there. I don't know why they thought an open world game was gonna be a good idea. I mean they clearly were looking at Skyrim and thought, oh we could just do an open world game and then just re-release it a million times. Like Skyrim, it's like, well, Skyrim is a good game. <laughs> That's why you can re-release Skyrim a million times. You can't do that with a game like Dynasty Wars 9, because Dynasty Wars 9 is really bad and doesn't work well at all in any way, shape, or form. So, they tried, I guess. Um, all right, so I just got rid of 
that dude. That was one guy. Now I'm gonna come over here and help out Dang Mao, who's still alive. It's interesting how you play through on the other faction, the gates are actually open, because or else you would never, you would not be able to go in there and actually do anything. So they, if you're thinking about that, which I appreciate. Um, now we're gonna try to keep getting rid of this Hong Dong guy right here. He's uh, blocking like crazy. Stop blocking. And then I like how this other dude, this sergeant behind me, is just stabbing me in the back, and it's, I'm not flinching, so it's just fine. Um, Hong Dong, you're really annoying me. This general right here. I guess it actually is. That is a real general. Does he have any officers? He does have an officer. So I'm find him. Before I get rid of him. Bodyguard will just come running in here and just destroy everything in the area. Get on my horse here. Come running back. Look for. There is Zhang Chao. Um, <clears throat> I do want to play through all those games. Sorry, I've got distracted because I'm playing this. Um, I do want to play through, you know, some other games. I want to finish up in that club. I'm getting close to being done with that game as well. Also great. I'm going to give a review of that at this point. I haven't done that yet. But I'm, I'm planning on making a review for that game and continuing my little car comparison video that I was doing with those games. All good stuff. Stuff I enjoy doing. Um... It's just fun. It's just fun having a channel. I didn't really think I would enjoy doing this as much as I do, but I really have a good time. So, um, we just lost Dang Mao, but that's fine. It is hilarious how bad your side is on this side. Like, the Liu Bei side, I killed the generals over there, and they're still fighting, like, a lot of things over there. Everything down there should have zero stars for a morale, and they're struggling so badly. I find that stuff so funny, but, um, <clears throat> I'm not super worried about it. That's the whole point of playing on the other faction, is you kind of just destroy everything you're supposed to. So, that's what I'm doing. Alright, now I'm gonna go running over, get rid of the final two gates over here, because I don't know where Cheng Pu is. So, I know where, obviously I know where Zheng Sun Jian is, because he is a little, one of those little asterisk things, but... I don't know where Cheng Pu is yet, so if I come down here and get rid of his troops, that might help me figure out where he actually is. He could be that one random red dot that's slowly creeping into our base. That'd be really annoying, because then I have to go running back there, and I may just not do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, updates. Enjoy the channel. I hope you all have a good time with it. I enjoy making videos. I like suggestions. Um, I've already talked about that stuff. The videos that are coming up in the future are based heavily on what my subscribers want, and that's part of how it is, because I have a lot of games that I enjoy making, and I'm not super uh, <clears throat> adamant about trying to figure out what every video I need to do. I, I, don't, I don't mind what I do, because I have like seven things that I want to do, so I'm just kind of like, well, whatever people want, I'll do it. Um, check who? I also don't know how that gate just got secured when there's so much blue there. I'm not really sure how that just happened, but... Um, running by Sun Jian, dodge all these archers. Check out down here. I'm not seeing Cheng Pu here. Come running back up here. Probably, literally, he probably is that unit that went way over there. <coughs> I will go back and get him. Even though I said I wasn't going to, I think I will do it. Alright, but um, yeah, I think I'm done talking. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. This has been more of a just chill video because I'm just doing the other factions and I'll just match that. So thank y'all for watching. Uh, subscribe, help me get to a thousand subs. Y'all are awesome. Uh, yeah, it's great. Great stuff. And of course, Cheng Pu was way up here. So, yeah, I'll get rid of him, finish up the rest of the level, and that'll be it. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure to enjoy. Have a great day. Peace.